Good morning, Springfield, and welcome to our announcements for Sunday, January 31st. Remember, there's no eating or drinking allowed in our church sanctuary at any time. And the two rear benches on either side are reserved for families with children and the elderly. Today's scripture verse of promise is taken from 2 Timothy 2, 11-13. Let's read together, please. It is a trustworthy statement. For if we died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Church, how well do you know your Bible? We're going to test you right now. We're going to give you some questions. At the end of the announcements, we'll provide the answers. Question one. In the Holy of Holies, there was the blank of covenant. Question two, who did Elisha tell would become king of Aram, Syria? Question three, Joseph of blank. Question four. The Philistines sent the ark back to Beth, blank. Good morning, church. What's your talent? Are you a great singer? Reverend Lynn is seeking singers for the worship team and the choir. If you know you can sing, please see Reverend Lynn to sign up. Church, remember to save the date. That's Saturday, June 16th for NMI's annual bus trip to Sight and Sound. This year's showing is Samson, a new show. Costs are as follows, adults $200, teens 150 and children between the ages of 3 to 12 are 140. For payment plans, please see Brother Willie Affleck or Sister Devika Backus. Good morning, church. We're also inviting you to our prayer breakfast, which will be held on Saturday, March 19, 2016. It will be held at our church, Springfield Gardens. Our speaker will be Teresa Ennis. She's a very powerful speaker. You won't want to miss this. Our team, experiencing the God of possibilities through intercessory prayer. Time, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. It will be at a cost of $20. Thank you. God bless. On Sunday, February 28th, our unfinished youth invite you to Youth Sunday. That's at our 11.15 a.m. service and the theme who is God? Teenagers and young adults, please invite your friends. Women, our regular monthly meeting will be held on Sunday, February 21st at 5.30 p.m. The topic for discussion, what are you driven by? Is it a problem, a pressure, a deadline, a painful memory or a haunting fear, an unconscious belief or by God's agenda? Come on out and let's talk about it. NYI Metro New York presents Festival of Life, competition tryouts, grades 9 through 12. $5 registration fee per person, no later than February 5th. Activities include volleyball, soccer, basketball, drama, vocals, puppetry, dance, and more, which will be held at the Beulah Church of the Nazarene on Saturday, February 13th from 3 to 8 p.m. For more information, please see Cecilia and Marie Pasco. The next marriage enrichment session is scheduled for Sunday, February 7th, downstairs in the Fellowship Hall at 5 p.m. It's open to all husbands, wives, and engaged couples. Church, today is Men's Ministry Sunday, and in both services, our theme is faithfulness. Our speakers at 8 a.m., Reverend James Roberts, and at 11.15, Reverend Lawrence Mitchell. The men are also reminded that the men's meeting remains the same every second Saturday at 10 a.m. Today our pastor is hosting a leadership meeting after the second service. Pastor is seeking to meet with all church leaders. That's after today's second service. Birthday greetings for this and last week are extended to the following individuals. Peyton Brown, January 24th, also on the 24th, Wayne James, Chantel Marshall, 
On the 25th, Trinity Blades, Roderick Daly, Natisha Folks, Pauline Morrison. On the 26th, Derek Gary, Camille Newman, Glenford Rice. On the 27th, Ashford Roberts. On the 28th, Atathalie Johnson, Richard Russell. On the 29th, Olivia Rice, Luke Saunders. On the 30th, Carissa Buckley. On the 31st, Keneal Monteith. On February 1st, Adele Natalie DuPont. On the 2nd, Cecile Garvey Bryce, Romaine Dawkins, and Iris Hodge. On the 3rd, Elva Grant, Stanley Wesley. On the 4th, Erlene Mason, Annette James Robinson, Pauline Thomas. And on the 6th, Madeline Beckford, Corey Clark, and Wayne Thompson. May God's greatest blessings be bestowed on each of you. And for our anniversaries, we wish congratulations to Glenfield and Lorna Rice, who celebrated on the 25th, and Kevin and Sashoy Graham, who celebrated on the 26th. Okay, church, how well do you know your Bible? Here are the answers. Question number one. In the Holy of Holies, there was the Ark of Covenant. Question two, who did Elisha tell would become king of Aram, Syria? Answer, Hazael. Question three, Joseph of Arimathea. Question four, the Philistines sent the ark back to Beth Shemesh. So how well did you do? And as we conclude our inspirational thoughts of the week, are as follows. Let's read together. Don't worry. God is never blind to your tears, never deaf to your prayers, and never silent to your pain. He sees, he hears, and he will deliver. Second, it's not the load that breaks you down. It's the way you carry it. And finally, don't confuse your path with your destination. Just because it's stormy now, doesn't mean that you aren't headed for sunshine. This concludes our announcements, but stay tuned. The unfinished youth will reflect on a recent community service project. We went to this place, what was it? It was a, a community center, yeah. And basically we went there to sew, and, just like sew up teddy bears and give it to unfortunate kids. And the first time experience of using a sewing machine was great because I never did it before. And I actually worked out. So yeah, I'm highly appreciative of going on this trip. Well, going to the community service to sew the bears for the kids, it was... It was kind of hard because, you know, I didn't know how to do it, but it was frustrating at first. But then I realized we're doing it for a good cause, so I'm going to suck it up and do it anyway. <laughs> so it was good, and it was fun, and I'm glad that we did it because there's kids out there that actually need it. The experience at the at the um, center was interesting because I've never done that before. Um, helping out other kids is something special to me because I know that a lot of kids – never had anything to play with or like anyone to be there for them. So making this teddy bear, it's like their best friend. So it's kind of cute. Kids having best friends, little teddy bear, it's kind of cute. It was actually really fun to make things and it was fun to help out. And I learned a lot, like I learned how to use the machine better and it was just a great experience. It was, it was good because, you know, it was my first time really using a sewing machine. I mean, like at first it was like, the sewing, you can see the needles. So. But then I got the hang of it and yeah, it was just really good. I think it was very good that we did it because, you know, we just want to help out other kids all around. Because I, 
because if we was less fortunate, we wouldn't want, you know, other people to help us too. But it was a good experience and it was good having, you know, all the girls from the youth group there. So.